final planning for the reopening of the railway line between Oxford and Milton Keynes has begun. The £400 million project will see trains run from Oxford north to Bista before heading east to Milton Keynes and then to Bedford. Meanwhile, a separate spur will provide a link to Aylesbury. Today, a train ran on a small part of the route for the first time in 20 years. Brenna Nichols was on board. For nearly two decades, no trains have run on these rails until today, and they weren't going far. The Oxford to Cambridge train line opened exactly 150 years ago this year. The last passenger trains ran here in 1974. The last freight train to run on these rails was in 1993. And many people see the reopening of this line from Oxford to Milton Keynes and Bedford as vital to this whole area. It will connect Oxford better to Milton Keynes and Aylesbury will cease to be a railway cul-de-sac. Plus it will create 12,000 new jobs. The economic benefit of this new railway is enormous for our region. It's a great benefit to people who live in Winslow, but I think we have to be careful that we achieve uh, a sensible balance between the benefits that we get from improved transport and resist the pressure for the increased development, which inevitably will follow. The plan is to redouble this train line and then electrify it too, at a cost of around £400 million. And on board this specially commissioned train are all those who are responsible for making it happen. The project is up and running. Uh, it's not just gathering dust and plans in a drawer somewhere. Um, that all the different uh, stakeholders in the group um, are working closely together uh, to make sure that it becomes a reality as soon as possible. Come on, everybody on board, please. When it opens, there's the promise of journey times of 45 minutes between Oxford and Milton Keynes, around half that of the current journey by car. We'll just have to wait until at least 2017 to see the trains run again. Brenna Nichols, BBC Oxford News. Good evening. It will cost £350 million and create 12,000 jobs. An ambitious plan to reopen an important rail link passing through parts of the Thames Valley and the Chiltern Hills has been announced today. Yes, it will be created using sections of closed track and existing freight lines to allow direct trains from Reading and Oxford to run to Milton Keynes and Bedford. It will also link into the Southampton and Great Western main lines. But unlike the controversial HS2 project, this scheme has local support and financial backing, as our transport correspondent Mike Pierce explains. The scheme is set to revolutionise travel in the Thames Valley, and today those behind the project went to see where the new line will run. East-West Rail will use existing and disused lines to link Reading, Oxford and Aylesbury with Milton Keynes and beyond. Regular passenger services haven't run over some of these tracks since 1969. And as we found out, there's much work to do. Our train was halted because of a broken level crossing and debris on the track activating our train's safety system. The equipment's hard to use at moments. The rails are rusty, needs a lot of signalling, so there's lots and lots of work to do. And today's trip, pretty good despite the, the, the few oh, problems? Half a few, yeah, no, it's been really good. It's been nice to bring a lot of people out and everyone can sort of see it. And At the moment then, this is quite literally the end of the line, but by 2017 there should be trains running along here at speeds of up to 100 miles an hour. At a time when the country's facing huge economic problems, is it really worth spending £400 million on a project like this? Well, there is a huge benefit to the, to the local region. There's an unprecedented business case in terms of the benefit to the cost of the investment, and it connects our region into the major national electrified rail network. So I, I think that the investment is really justified. This animation gives an impression of how the line will change. The key benefit will be boosting the economy by tens of millions of pounds. For all the political debate there is about the economy, one area of consensus is that we should be investing in infrastructure schemes. Uh, and this is one of these projects which is uh, known as shovel ready. Um, it's ready to go. We can have trains up and running uh, in just a few years' time. The government have already approved the scheme and work is soon expected to start. Mike Pierce in Aylesbury for Meridian tonight.